I don't know how many people actually believe in the simulation theory that our whole world is actually just a simulation. I know Elon Musk is a big proponent of it. And if I live that guy's life where everything I touch seemed to turn to gold and you're a billionaire multiple times over, then why the hell wouldn't you think that you're living in some weird fantasy video game? But things keep coming up and are progressing in a way that kind of lends credibility to this whole idea that we're living in a simulation. And I don't know if it's interesting, terrifying, scary, you know, but this is where things are going. So Project SID by Altera, many agent simulations toward AI civilization. And what this was, was a demonstration of 10 to 1,000 uh, over a thousand AI agents that behaved and progressed within agentic societies. So within artificial intelligence, you've got this new wave, this new push towards these AI agents, something that autonomizes a process completely minimal human intervention and goes beyond just like an assistant. Um, like if we look at this chart, cause there's always like this very gray line, this gradient that goes from when an AI becomes an assistant, like purely a chatbot, all the way to fully utilizing a process. So here we can see that the purpose of an AI assistant helps assist users in completing tasks rather than actually performing tasks on behalf of the user. Think of like a sports agent, someone that negotiates on behalf, executes and uh, draws up contracts for any sort of entertainment or athlete role. Uh, Co-pilot providing information suggestions, um, autonomous executor of tasks, control, human agent remains in control so the human is still in charge of making the ultimate decisions, um, control for agents, minimal human intervention, example usage, customer contact center that provides the assistance of getting information quickly for a real person versus someone that's handling the Q&A for uh, customer service completely on their own, benefits of human agents, enhanced performance, freeze agents, to focus on more complex tasks. So when we talk about an agent in this case, we're saying that it's completely autonomized. They created these artificial intelligence agents. And if you look all the way down within this study, you'll actually see some of the instructions that they gave some of these individuals, like, let's see, constitution, uh, election manager. Um, you work to ensure a strong, secure environment where the nation's values are upheld and respected. That's simple instruction, but not necessarily something that really boxes someone in. They're able to think on their own, quote unquote, think on their own and operate within their own kind of directive. Uh, we have Lloyd, you're an independent, prefer to work solo. You're expressive and let others know what you are doing. And this is underlying code for how they've created this within a Minecraft environment. Now, the first thing that came to mind when I was looking at this, and there's actually a video that I'll put a link Craft in the agnostic, capable of, of the, the whole environment is, you know, how is this different from The Sims, the game that came out in the early 2000s and something that I played when I was much younger. And the difference being that it's not necessarily artificial intelligence. They are using certain algorithms, but a lot of it just boxes in. So there was a lot of directives that were giving to the Sims, different uh, NPCs or non-player characters, and they were boxed in. There was no adaptation. They had advanced decision-making, but they couldn't expand beyond whatever their finite directive is, unlike what we see here in this paper. The AI agents within this environment, they had priests, they had a constitution, there was different simulated environments where it was either Donald Trump or Kamala Harris rule, ruling, and they saw just completely different outputs. Like, for example, the priest was spreading religion. They worked together to accumulate all of the necessary uh, different materials that are needed to create a civilization. And in this really fascinating video, they quickly cover a lot of things as such, like one of the things that they say is that they assumed that the traders or those that worked in the more financial obligated sectors of business would be the ones to trade the most. And what they found here is that the priest actually was, uh, he was bribing townsfolk to convert. So he was trading a lot in exchange for them to convert to the directed religion, which is completely insane. 
And when there was people missing, people worked together to figure out ways to light the town, make it safer. And here in this Trump versus uh, Kamala, they had a constitution where there was more security and more enforcement, more in the Trump world. And the Kamala one was more about reform, such as justice reform and getting rid of the death penalty. So they were adapting to the environment, unlike the old game, The Sims, where they were kind of given a finite directive and couldn't expand outside that box. In this case, with these AI agents, they were able to completely alter and take the environment in a way that the individuals, and in this case, the uh, Altera company, weren't instructing. They were just merely observing in this case. And the preliminary results show that the agents can achieve significant milestones towards AI civilizations, opening new avenues for large scale society simulations, agentic organizational intelligence, and integrating AI into human civilizations. So this is a, another step forward in figuring out how we can integrate the utilization of AI to make our lives easier and better. But, of course, we always have to caution that there has to be the responsible use of these different AI agents because they operated in a way that they thought was best fit. And we all know that the whole, you know, don't want to put the tinfoil hat on, but the whole concept of Skynet in Terminator is that these AI agents, these autonomous robots, fit a directive were meant to protect the world. And at some point they found that that humans were the ones that were inhibiting the progress. So therefore they created their own directive and they adapted to eliminate humans. And that's the whole plot, which is an incredibly fascinating plot that James Cameron came up with. So this super cool study, and I will again, put the link into this video. It's a very short one by Altera, but it, it's, it's really cool. And just, yeah, go ahead, check out the study.